I would like to thank you all on behalf of ESA uh, for giving us this interview because, as you know, we, our audience is made mostly of uh, business people, executives, uh, and so on, and uh, whatever comments you have will be of great interest. To them. Very good. I am uh, very much honored and pleased that we have this opportunity. I will make the first time, I will make the mistake of quoting you. This is something we always dread uh, when you say, a few years ago you said, you think, oh, oh gosh, what did I say on that time? Well, in 1992 you said that uh, uh, there was a, we needed a change of paradigm in the way the financial world and the economic world operated. And do you still think so? Or do you think the change has happened or is it bound to happen shortly? I still strongly believe that, and I think uh, actual change uh, really took place uh, uh, particularly during the uh, 90s and uh, in the early part of the 21st century. Uh, that was a great uh, change. Um, For the good or not? Well, it is we who can change it either for good or for bad. And at this moment, I have to say that uh, we are still <laughs> uh, unable to, uh, to ascertain whether we are in the right uh, path or wrong path. Mm. With the experience that you have in your long life as mm. a, a professional economist and a civil servant, and especially as vice minister for uh, finance in Japan, uh, how do you see the measures that we are taking, that different governments are taking, to face the, the current crisis? First of all, I have to confess that uh, the, uh, we uh, did make a serious mistake when this current crisis started in early part of uh, 2007. None of us uh, did uh, realize the, the uh, deep depth and the implications of the crisis uh, properly. So, our uh, early reaction, response to the crisis, uh, in my view, um, have been very clumsy, I should say. Uh, measures we have taken uh, was uh, too little, too uh, late. And uh, during uh, we are wasting uh, time, uh, the situation has aggravated considerably. But after this so-called uh, Lehman shock, in September 2007, Eight. I think uh, 2008, um, we all came to realize the real meaning of the crisis. And I think uh, uh, policies we have uh, been taking after that uh, were all in all in a good direction. The, 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 the problem is the uh, speed and the amount of resources we are putting into that. And are you thinking mostly of the fiscal stimulus or of the bank? Boss, 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 uh, and I have to say that um, uh, certainly we have uh, started our uh, policy responses in the right direction, in my view. But uh, to be uh, exact, we are just at the very beginning. We don't see uh, how those measures will work. Well, take the case of the um, uh, uh, financial measures. That is the provision of liquidity into the market or uh, clearing of the uh, toxic asset and replenishing uh, the bank's capital. Uh, all these measures are necessary and right ones, but we have just started. Hmm? Have we started? Well, at least there is a plan. Mm -hmm. you know, for instance, in, in the U.S., uh, which is the epicenter of the crisis. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> they just uh, published uh, the, the plan, so-called the Geithner uh, Toxic Asset Plan. Yes, so there is a plan. And also uh, in the uh, uh, replenishment of capital, uh, they have pledged to the public that they will start uh, doing operation uh, once they have collected and analyzed uh, uh, actual real situation of uh, major banks. So, well, plans are there. So in that sense, I think uh, the step has been taken, but uh, we are still to see what will uh, be coming out of these plans. The U.S. has, uh, has uh, I think, uh, left aside the possibility of creating this so-called bad bank. 
uh, which is a solution that has been adopted in other, uh, mm -hmm. on other occasions. For instance, this was the, the, the strategy adopted in China, mm -hmm. cleaning up uh, the bad assets of the uh, banks mm -hmm. so that they could operate normally. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that uh, the bad bank is a necess uh, necessity? Well, uh, what is necessary is to separate those bad assets from banks and somehow clear it, clear it. Huh? Either by putting them in, in a new institution, you may call it bad bank, or you just sell it, huh? liquidate it at market price. So I don't think the uh, structure of bad bank itself is not a, a absolute necessity because there are other means of uh, uh, liquidating or uh, clearing uh, bad assets. But the important point is just clear those bad assets from banks. Uh, that's a must. Uh, but there are really a pile of uh, very difficult problems uh, before you can get the right solution of that. Uh, First of all, who are going to decide which asset is bad and which is not, which is good, and then uh, what should be the price mm -hmm. of what, the that's asset? The, that's the thing. Yeah. And thirdly, who are going to finance that transaction? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all these problems uh, need to be solved before the uh, uh, transaction or operation could be a successful one, and uh, the. Um, American plan is certainly one way of dealing with the problem, I think. Yeah. Uh, that is uh, to, uh, to uh, try to uh, activate and uh, uh, encourage uh, private sector participation in the whole process, while public sector, Treasury or the Fed, uh, are prepared to provide very significant support, financial support, guarantee support. Very significant. Yeah, very, very, very significant support. So this is one way of uh, uh, trying to solve that. But uh, as you said, uh, there are other ways, uh, for instance, and all the countries did the different way. I think the Chinese are doing the different ways. So uh, I don't think uh, the, the bad bank per se is not an absolute necessity. Is Japan adopting anything like uh, is uh, the toxic asset problem a big problem in the Japan? It was a big was. asset in the late 1990s. It's no, no longer a major problem. Uh, I think uh, after uh, spending uh, uh, almost uh, uh, let me see uh, uh, five percent of the total GDP uh, uh, in that operation uh, at the worst period. Japanese banks' uh, ratio of bad asset uh, was uh, almost 20% uh, of their uh, loan asset. And it was uh, reduced to uh, just above 1% or so. So that was a very uh, heavy uh, burden on the uh, public money. Uh, your prime minister was very insistent before the G20 meeting that uh, other countries had to adopt very substantial fiscal stimulus. Uh, you, you agree with that view? I have to agree with you, yeah. yeah because, uh, you know, uh, in this current crisis, uh, two major problems are there. One is in financial sector. Mm -hmm. That is the uh, problem of uh, credit crunch. And the uh, other problem is in the uh, real economic sector, which is the uh, collapse of demand. Mm -hmm. right. and I suspect that most countries around the world uh, have, um, uh, have um, started or uh, in the process of uh, providing a very ample liquidity into the market. Um, so the remaining problem is, is how can you really start stimulating the demand, not simply by uh, providing uh, easy liquidity, uh, easy credit. And I think in that sense, uh, fiscal policy, whether you like it or not, has to play a major role because fiscal policy, either through uh, tax measures or either through expenditure measures, can have direct impact on uh, uh, people's consumption uh -huh. or corporate uh, 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 capital spending. Right. So I think uh, fiscal policy has to play a major role. Of course, of course, activation of fiscal policy uh, may
may be accompanied by very great risk in the future. Mm -hmm. Inflation, default, <laughs> deterioration of balance sheet. Uh, so you have to be really, really careful. And I think you really have to be really determined to avoid uh, the uh, future um, uh, deterioration of your public uh, uh, policy uh, situation. So this is a very um, serious uh, political issue, and uh, which must uh, have uh, support from every sector in the society, uh, not only from politicians or from business, but also from taxpayers and uh, private citizens uh, who have a great uh, stake in, in, in this. But uh, having said that, I think at least at present, uh, we need a uh, very active fiscal policy to uh, uh, save this uh, uh, situation of uh, collapse of demand. And I think your Prime Minister thought that the measures adopted in some uh, European countries were insufficient. Did he say that? I didn't hear it. I think so, I think, but because there was, he was immediately answered by Mrs. Merkel oh, from Germany okay. saying that they did not want that, they could rely on exports. I, cannot uh, uh, agree with uh, him uh, so easily because I know European situation pretty well <laughs> and uh, I know how European uh, uh, policy makers, uh, taxpayers do feel about very active uh, uh, utilization of fiscal policy. Uh, you have uh, uh, much more serious experiences of inflation than people in America, for instance, True. than in the case of Japan. So it is quite understandable that uh, European people as a whole are more cautious about uh, fiscal stimulus in fear of a possible inflation in the future. Uh, having said that, um, I also sympathize with my prime minister uh, because uh, he believes that Fiscal stimulus is now an uh, 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 absolute necessity for the world. And uh, because uh, in Japan, he is uh, uh, initiating to take that uh, very active uh, uh, fiscal stimulus in the face of public concern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in order to convince his own people, okay. he needs global support. Some time ago, you said uh, during a, a time of, of crisis, you said that uh, uh, the responsibility for a recovery lies in the hands of business people, essentially, CEOs, uh, business leaders. Uh, most of our audience, most of our students are either CEOs or business leaders or future business leaders. Uh, what recommendations would you have? Uh, what, is, what, does, what does it mean to act like a CEO in a time of crisis? Well, I remember I said that uh, uh, when the uh, Japanese economy was in serious crisis in the late 90s. And um, at that time, uh, uh, frankly speaking, we ran out of uh, uh, fiscal policies, monetary policies. In other words, macroeconomic policies were all exhausted. Mm -hmm. But still, the economy was, uh, was uh, yeah. remained very uh, uh, um, sluggish. Uh, sluggish. And what I thought was that, Look, it's after all the uh, 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 corporate sector who can really revive the economy by leading the whole um, economic activities in the country. And also, it was quite obvious at that time that Japanese corporate sector was not really um, very coming forth uh, in that, uh, in that uh, uh, leadership role because they themselves were very much burdened by excessive debt, excessive employment, excessive capacity. So they had to introduce major, major restructuring of their own. Otherwise, the sector will not revive and the economy will not revive. So, uh, well, I have to say that uh, some of our uh, business leaders at the time were still rather uh, complacent, uh, hoping that, uh, well, we are in bad time, but good time will come sooner or later, so just wait. <laughs> huh? And there was, 
lack of a strong initiative and willingness to, to uh, uh, sacrifice or to uh, take pain uh, in um, demonstrating that uh, leadership. So I think, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm not um, in a position to give any uh, lectures to <laughs> business leaders, but I think they, they uh, first of all, they should, uh, they should feel the strong uh, uh, sense of responsibility, uh, both as a leader of the company. Mm. They have their own employees hundreds, thousands, some of tens of thousands employees mm -hmm. whose life, whose lives are depending on his and his leadership. And they have uh, customers and the community surrounding them. But also, they should in that sense have the sense of responsibility that, uh, to, uh, to uh, put the role of the corporate sector in the right position. Because after all, a country's economy will be supported by three players, corporate sector, household sector, and uh, public sector. And it, corporate sector does always have a very uh, uh, serious uh, uh, re leadership uh, responsibilities. So I do believe it's very important for every CEO to, en to, to entertain this uh, multiple sense of leadership role, either as a head of the corporation, but at the same time, the leader of the sector, very important sector in the, in the economy. Uh, particularly in this world of globalization, well, uh, uh, the role of a big uh, uh, company's CEO uh, is almost global. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, your company's performance can affect the uh, far corners mm -hmm. in the world. So this sense of responsibility is uh, really crucial, I think. Would you also have some words of encouragement for them? Because many of them feel very disoriented. I mean, this crisis is uh, so big this time that uh, it's first it is difficult to understand, and it is, for many uh, business leaders, it is, uh, sometimes they don't see how to, how to handle it. There will be uh, no eternal Darkness. <laughs> uh, the night will end sometime. And it's often said that uh, when you feel it is the darkest, that is a time maybe the dawn is approaching. Just before the dawn. Um, so this is uh, not very <laughs> pragmatic, uh, <laughs> encouraging. Thing. But I think it's true. Uh, but of course, uh, before they start enjoying some encouragement, they have to go through a period of uh, reflection hmm, and probably uh, self-condemnation. They, uh, they have to graduate that process anyway. And after graduating that process, I'm sure they can find uh, uh, encouragement or a uh, glimmer of hope or a bright sunshine at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I am a st strong believer in that. Uh, and uh, well, if you look back at history, that's right. Optimism always paid. <laughs> 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 better paid than pessimism. Uh, Don't you think so? It makes you feel better. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Almost welcome. <laughs>